Hello and welcome to Kingdom General. This program is about men and women of God who are making maximum impact in our communities, in our cities and the world at large. Welcome back to the program viewers, uh, Kingdom Generals, men and women of God making maximum impact. I've got a powerful and dynamic man of God in the studio, Pastor M.K. Dark. God bless you, Pastor Dark. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure having you, sir. Thank you very much. What is God using you to do right now um, in ready? Okay, God is using me to raise the future leaders. That's right. And that's what the church stands for. Covenant mm -hmm. Church Police stands for raising people, that's right. generations, that's right. the mindset of Christ mm -hmm. in the area that they are called to fulfill. That's right. So one can be called into being a nurse, but you've got to have God's mind and mm -hmm. we'll raise you to become what God has ordained you to be. That's right. More changing it and fulfilling purpose for God's glory. So that's what God is using me now to do. And and, and, and we are we are doing our best for God that's right. in Reading. That's right. That's right. And there have been fruits all over the place. Mm -hmm. I have daughter, daughters of mine, sons of mine, all over the place now rejoicing because they met me. Amen. And, 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 and you know, to the prophetic and the teachings, right. God is raising them. Powerful. Mindsets have been changed. They are having the right concept of Christianity, that's right. and you're making it you're powerful. Acting. Powerful. Yes. About this conference, I know you have some conference coming. Yes. Let, let's talk a yes. bit about these conference that you're putting off, uh, putting on at the moment. All right. Um, the conference is themed working in dominion. That's right. Yes, working in dominion, and I'm having the finest preachers mm. in our generation. Come on. Now. I mean, the finest <laughs> love speakers in our generation. That's right. Doctor Shadako Fusuwa. Mm -hmm. Now in London, he is called Modest Church. Wow. He recently hosted. Um, Noah Jones, mm -hmm. just recently, That's right. uh, I was in the, in the program, and, and, and I, love, I love the man. That's right. He's a man of integrity, and he's going to be one of the preachers. Mm -hmm. um, Archbishop J.P. Hackman, mm -hmm. he's the father of fathers. Hey. The old man has been tested and proven. That's right. And these are people that we must listen to. That's right. These are seasoned, seasoned men. Seasoned men. That's right. Who are carrying the mandate from God mm. to impact and to shape the future leaders. That's right. And the generation that they find themselves in. And then above all, my own bishop coming from Ghana. That's right. My own bishop. I love the man. Mm -hmm. The man is into prophetic and he's a teacher of the world. Mm. He's traveled the world, South Africa, Nigeria, Benin, talk of wherever the That's man right. has gone. That's right. And the man has raised profound prophets. Mm -hmm. And these are the people I'm hosting That's right. for this conference. That's right. Ask me, why am I saying working in dominion? Working in dominion simply means that um, you work according to the way God called you to walk. That's right. No believer is called to walk below dominionship. Mm. Powerful. Powerful. The reason why people are suffering, mm -hmm. the reason why we have a lot of things going on in the kingdom, That's right. is because the believer doesn't know who he's called to be. Powerful. Powerful. Now, let me give you a, a, just a tip. Mm -hmm. Of what I'm going, what is going to be happening in this conference? God gave dominionship to Adam and Eve. That's right. Over the earth, He told, He told, they, they spoke about it, and they said, "Let's create man in our own image." That's right. So they can have dominion. Now it will be a bit controversial. God never spoke about worship. That's right. That's right. Uh, precious listener, still in the scriptures, God never spoke about worship. Mm -hmm. He never spoke about giving. He never spoke about fasting. In that scripture of Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, he says, let's create man in our own image. Mm -hmm. And that was the purpose of creating man. That's right. To dominate mm, the creation of God. My God. Now, man lost it, isn't it? That's right. That's man right. lost it. That's right. Through sin. That's right. And then we submitted it to the devil. And Jesus came back mm. in the Garden of Gethsemane. That's right. Went to get that authority back. And when he got it, he came back to the disciples and told them, all power has been given to me. Mm. But I transferred that power to you. Powerful. Before I went. Powerful. So the issue is that, does it mean that redemption mm -hmm. brings the individual back to the original intent of God for creating them? Mm. Redemption. No, so that means that if I'm redeemed, I am redeemed to dominate. This is deep. Pause a minute there. We're coming back. This is powerful. See you in a bit. Covenant Restoration Chapel International in Reading presents Walking in a Dominion. Keynote speakers include Dr. Shadrach Ahosuare, Archbishop J.P. Hackman, Bishop Prince Akben Yeki from Ghana. Come for a fervent worship experience with anointed psalmist Pastor Kwame M. Ponsa. And Roger Samuel.
from 1st to the 4th of August 2013. Start 7 p.m. on Thursday, 9.30 on Friday for an all-night service, and 3 p.m. on Sunday. Venue, 501 to 503 Oxford Road, Reading, RG30, 1HF. Your host, Reverend M.K. Darko. You have got to be there. Welcome back viewers, pastors, jump right in from, from where we left off. Alright, so I'm saying that redemption mm -hmm. in the Bible means that you are being recovered. That's right. So that means that Jesus says, the Bible says in the first, um, Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 mm -hmm. or 14 thereof and Ephesians chapter 1 as well. Yes. All these scriptures that the Pauline epistles talks about redemption. That's right. And the kingdom is all about Jesus mm -hmm. and the cross. That's all the kingdom is about. That's right. right. Now the issue is that what did Jesus come to do? Mm -hmm. The believer must understand that. That's right. To know what Jesus came to do so that they can be able to inherit and possess it. That's right. Right. Jesus came to redeem us, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's what we all believe. That's right. Now, redeem us for what? Mm. Our redemption is to take us back to the original intention that God created us for. Mm. Which takes us back to the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. That's right. Which means that I am redeemed back into the place of the um, dominion. That's right. right. Now, don't talk to me about prophecy here. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to me about demon here. Yes. Don't talk to me about sickness here. Come on. Now. Don't talk to me about poverty here. Yes. I, I don't want to hear that. Come on. Because if I am called by God, mm -hmm. redeemed by God, to dominate, hey. sickness is under my foot. Come on. Uh, demons are under my foot. Yes. I don't need to hear that. That's right. Uh, they are far, far below me. R Romans tells you that we are we are more than overcomers. Yes. That's why it says that. That's because right. those that wrote the Bible, the apostles understood it from that angle. Yes. It's very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. My God, it's very unfortunate. And let me say, it's very unfortunate that we have some preachers mm -hmm. who find it difficult to be able to transport the true interpretation of the Bible mm -hmm. to the today's generation. That's right. And I told us some time ago that we will get to a time in our life, if we don't take care, mm -hmm. we will have believers who don't know God. Come on now. Because they don't know God because the word of God was not interpreted right unto them. That's right. That's right. And remember, God is not going to be separated from his word. That's right. You can only know God by knowing his word. Mm. And the truth is that, you see, it's people chase prophecies. I'm a prophet. Yes. I travel to prophesy. Mm -hmm. People come to see me ready to, for prophecy. That's right. I have people traveling all over the world coming to see me. Yes. Right. I have, you have people that tell you that, oh, man of God, we, you appeared in our labor our labor hall, uh, um, labor room, when we we're going to be cesarean, having cesarean, and then you, you spoke to us that it will be well, and then we had safe delivery. That's right. I had, I had a testimony from all the way in um, Holland that someone was in labor, I appeared there, and then the labor became here in Bath. Yes, yes, yes. But the issue oh. is that, my God, why am I saying that we should work in dominion? Mm. Demons are under our feet. Come on now. Poverty is under our feet. Mm. Uh, um, sickness is under the feet of the believer. That's right. Troubles and pressure hey. are under our feet. It is only when the believer knows yes. who he is called to be, My that is when the believer will be able to possess his possessions. Don't forget this, that God said that my people are perishing not because of the devil, mm -hmm. not because of their enemy, but because they lack knowledge lack of knowledge. Their being. So I'm saying that working in dominion in this mm -hmm. conference, That's right. apart from the bishop coming from Ghana prophesying, yes. Dr. Shabra coming in, mm -hmm. Albusha coming in, right. I'll be there prophesying myself. That's right. You can't miss it. Man. But the ultimate is to deliver you in your mind, make you go back and mm. walk in your dominion. Wow, I feel this. Dominion in your workplace. Yes. Dominion in your marriage. Come on. Dominion from your family. No, no, don't talk about family cases. Yes. Dominion over family cases. Come on. You are called above Shit. and not beneath. Come on. So you see, so this conference is going to focus on that. That's right. That believers are called to dominate. My we are not called to. That is why the church cannot go down. I'm feeling this. The thing. church of God can never go down. Yes. That is why in church history, church has gone through. The church of God has gone through a lot of things. Yes, yes. But we always come up. That's right. And that is why the local churches as well mm. go through things, My but they always surface. Powerful. If it is God, they will dominate. Hey. So believers should be in eager expectation. That's right. In this conference, mm. it is going to be mind blowing. My God. Prophesying to people, That's right. healing the sick. That's if right. you have HIV, bring it to church. Hey, bring it to this conference. HIV, I'm challenging you on life. That's right. Bring it to church. Cancer, mm -hmm. bring it to church. Uncurable diseases, bring them to church. Amen. Now the dominionship God has given us over sickness, mm -hmm. will we let that 
that that demon mm -hmm. of sickness relocate, my vanish my God. before you leave. I'm excited, Please. Pastor. I'm excited. Let, let's not give the viewers anymore. Mm. The, tell, can you tell us where we can find you, the address, telephone numbers? All right. Yes. My, my, I'm, I'm in Reading. Um, if you live around Slough, Basingstoke, Bracknell, Newbury, I'm in Reading, um, close to Oxford. And then my number is 079-4452-1330. My office is in Berkshire House in Reading, um, closer to the Reading College. Um, when you walk in there as the reception, you want to see Reverend Darko, they will let you see me. Um, if you don't have time to book an appointment, just walk in. I'll be able to see you. If I don't have anyone seeing that day, I'll see you. God bless you. And I, I hope to see you in this conference, which is taking place in Oxford Road in Reading. That's right. 501 to 503 Oxford Road. Um, Thursday, the 1st of August, mm -hmm. all the way down to um, Sunday, the 4th of August. Oh, and we got someone else will be there. My God. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Kwame oh, on is going to be there. Oh, Papa cool. Richie is going to be there. Oh. Uh, the musicians is amazing. Papa oh. Richie is the finest reggae music, gospel musician in the whole Europe. Hey. I, I'm telling you. Where is he from? Ah, he's a Ghanaian as well. Oh, and he's singing reggae. But you, know, you, know, you know the top record so from Jamaica. Uh, uh, I'm telling you, Papa Richie has taken over now. <laughs> Oh my God! So I'm, I'm, I'm going to expect you there, viewers. Let's meet. Let's worship God. Let's receive from the great men of God. Then we take it from there. God bless you. Say no more, Pastor. Viewers, my God, I'm going to just run this clip. And um, if you need an interview with myself, give me a call. My number is on the screen. And uh, the information for Pastor um, Dark or Conference Dominion Walking in Dominion is on the screen. Stay tuned. And next week at the same time, God bless you, Kingdom Generals, men and women of God, making maximum impact. God bless you. We love you. Thank you so much, my girl. Bless you. Powerful. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Powerful. Oh, Covenant Restoration Chapel International in Reading presents Walking in a Dominion. Keynote speakers include Dr. Shadrach Ofosuware, Archbishop J.P. Hackman, Bishop Prince Agben Yeki from Ghana. Come for a fervent worship experience with anointed psalmist Pastor Kwame M. Ponsa. And Roger Samuels. From 1st to the 4th of August 2013. Start 7 p.m. on Thursday, 9.30 on Friday for an all night service, and 3 p.m. on Sunday. Venue 501 to 503 Oxford Road, Reading RG30 1HF. Your host, Reverend M.K. Darko. You have got to be there.